Okay, today is Saturday, April, I believe, the 2nd or 3rd, and this is the, this is my 10th day of uh, my battle with scabies. And I just realized this morning that my cat, the reason my cat has been vomiting and diarrhea for the last week is that I have been petting him after uh, dousing myself with permethrin, which is, which is uh, deadly toxic to cats. So, that was quite an eye-opener. And I'm just doing some research uh, about people who may be carriers and not have any symptoms because I have no idea where I picked this up. And from reading all the different literature, different people say different things. Basically, they don't really know exactly how it is transferred and how it's definitely not transferred. It seems to be some pretty gray areas. And I have to fall into one of the gray areas because the main uh, mode of transmission, they say, is intimate personal contact, which I have not had with anyone in 500 million years. So that's really out of the question since the life expectancy of the, of the bugs is only three days. So I've got that one covered. So I picked it up either at the gym, on the bus, on some clothing, from shaking somebody's hand. Uh, anyway. This is what it looks like. It's fucking horrible. I wouldn't, wor would not wish it on my worst enemy. And this looks good compared to what it was four days ago. My hands were so swollen, I couldn't move them. And so painful. Now it just itches like fuck. But I got some more permethrin and I, I was just going to try. I'm, I'm, I haven't smoked any pot in 10 days and I'm sort of scared to because I tend to get paranoid anyway and uh, I don't know, if I, I may not do it at all, but I have the option of taking the um, Benadryl, which they gave me a prescription for 25 milligrams, and uh, which just it made I took one pill and it got rid of the itching and it got rid of the swelling but it made me feel like I was trapped in in hell and that was no fun at all and then so I stopped uh, stopped t I only took one pill and it took me a day and a half and the worst part of it was I couldn't get warm I was I was tra I was trapped in a cold lifeless body it was horrible so I got the children's dosage. I want to try that because it does, it did get rid of the itching for actually for one day, I think it was uh, Friday, Thursday or Friday afternoon. I felt completely, almost, almost totally normal for a couple of hours. And then apparently when the Benadryl wore off, it, it came back like, like gangbusters. So, um, this is the first time after good things come out of adversity, but I've been wanting to set this camera up on this beautiful tripod and do some videos for several years now and haven't gotten around to do it. And it was so simple. It took me, it took me two years to, 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 to do it. And just now put it together. I just put it together in five minutes and sitting in this chair and it's I'm within arm's reach of the camera so I can turn it on and off without getting up out of the chair which is uh, sometimes problematical and I wished I had a remote but I don't I don't know that this camera has a remote or I don't remember if it did I, I it it um, didn't come with it anyway so uh, let's see we got almost five minutes that's enough